In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 5, verses 17 through to 20. Do not think that I came to destroy the law or the prophets. I did not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For surely, I say to you, Till heaven and earth pass away, one jot or one tittle will by no means pass from the law till all is fulfilled. Whoever therefore breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches men so shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does and teaches them, he shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I say to you that unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to be true and faithful servants of yours. Righteousness, the law fulfilled. That is the subheading to this reading. The very first verse, Jesus said, I did do not think that I came to destroy the law or the prophets. I did not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Yes, Christ came to work to fulfill the scriptures of those prophets, the law. An important message for us all to remember. Yes. The interpretation of the scribes and the Pharisees. They will think they were righteous. But the very last verse we just read, I say to you, unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. We must be righteous in following the law and teachings of Jesus Christ. Yes. Following the teachings of Jesus is the most important thing for us to do. When we fail to do this, we sin. Yes. When we do not fulfill the law, the commandment of God, to love as Christ loves us, we fail. We will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Yes, this is something we must truly remember. We call ourselves Christians. Do we behave like Christ? Or do we behave like the world in its sinful ways? Do we keep quiet or do we speak out? We must follow Christ and his teachings. We must not, I repeat, not follow the world in its sinfulness. 
Yes. By not following the world, we will be persecuted, laughed upon, spat upon, beaten, abused for following Christ and not what everybody else is doing in the world. We must take up our cross. My cross. My Christ. On our journey to the kingdom of heaven is not an easy path. Christ suffered and died for us out of love. We must do likewise. How to love of Christ. Follow him. I urge you all to pray and meditate on this reading today. Yes. Follow Christ. Take up your cross daily. I repeat, daily. And follow him. Do not follow the world. Turn your back to the world and follow Christ. Repent, repent, repent. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most holy Theotokos, save us. Amen.